all right what's up guys welcome back welcome back i'm sure by now everyone's seen the PUBG update video uh that was released yesterday evening talking about the erangal visual update and upcoming season four changes what i want to do is quickly go over the top five things from this patch that you should be aware of uh so we'll just jump right in first thing the erangal visual update is the biggest thing everyone's talking about uh so what they're going to do there is they're going to completely revamp the visuals of the whole map uh talking about increased foliage changing trees buildings changing entire city locations uh milta powers getting a huge overhaul so starting with prison here guys you see we have the traditional five uh five orange roof big warehouse buildings you have the main prison building this little shack and this little two-story building right above it and take a look at the update boom so now we have six total warehouses in the middle to fight over loot we still have the main uh the main prison building we now have a second two-story building and a little shack off to the side with sniper towers on every corner it doesn't i don't know if they're, they're accessible but it'd be kind of neat if they were it looks like there's some doors at the bottom then on top you have a, uh this another the same two-story building with an added shack here a shack on the right and a shack on the left but the big thing that really kind of you want to take away from this is just the overall visuals on the map so they've got uh colors change the color palettes change everywhere they got foliage added everywhere and uh, for what that means for us as the player is this it's probably going to be a lot harder to spot folks running in and out of these cities uh going forward which could be a good or a bad thing so here we're looking at milta power uh now here you have the nuclear silos uh you have the main building uh then just a lot of unused ground that's been here for a while you really never have any reason to go over here uh, you just kind of skim the the uh, outside boundaries and, and then you roll out to the next building well now take a look so you have the huge overhaul with the same color palette change but the big thing you're going to see is all the the useful buildings now they've added so they've got a few more of those little white roof tents to use but they've also taken away the complete concrete dip in the middle and they've added some warehouses that you can loot and it looks like the main building in the middle has also been changed it looks like it's a total of three buildings kind of clumped together a big warehouse on the left uh, a two or three story uh building in the middle to take over the old main building and another two story to the right of that you see in the far right hand corner we have another big warehouse to loot in the back left under the huge silo we have two or maybe three more warehouses to loot there so i feel like this is going to be a much better opportunity for multiple squads to contest uh, so that'll be interesting to get on get on this new update here and again here at pachink you see the same thing just a big color palette change uh, and that theme is going to stay uh, stay true throughout the rest of the map is what it looks like. Number two is the new armored amphibious vehicle they announced. It's going to be only uh, available via the flare gun. So instead of getting an armored UAS, you're going to get this armored amphibious crate vehicle. Hopefully they add it to other maps. But for right now, I think it's only going to be Erangel. Uh This thing's an absolute tank. Um, it doesn't look like it has any weak points except maybe the tires. So we'll see when it comes to that. Uh, but this thing can go drive in water and then obviously on land. And uh, it's going to take a lot of firepower to blow this bad boy up. Number three, the new vaulting mechanic looks epic. Uh, this is going to add a whole a whole new layer of verticality to this game. You're going to be able to leap off of buildings and vault onto edges or ledges rather that you couldn't before. So inside of Pachinki, thinking of going rooftop to rooftop uh, without having to do these glitch jumps, you'll be able to naturally progress to the, uh, the higher points of the map. Uh, really looking forward to that mechanic being added in. Uh, number four the new mastery system for non-weapon activities they hinted on this they didn't say exactly what they were going to add but they're making it seem like uh hey if you're not that good at the game you're not getting a lot of kills no worries we're still going to add mastery uh availabilities for other things like maybe how many loot crates you get or how many first places you get how many top 10s top 20s how long you stay alive all those kind of things and maybe we'll get some new kind of charms or something to go along with that uh, the fifth and final thing I wanted to bring up was the blue zone changes are only applied to test server during the test period only. So they haven't confirmed these will stay or not. Uh, the blue zone timers are going to be faster throughout the match, which is fantastic. It'll speed up the match a little bit. Blue zone delay is reduced in the earlier phase. So this is less of that, that down lull looting phase. The size of the safe zone is reduced in the earlier phases. So that means you're more quickly going to have to get into the zone than you were before. You can't loot for four or five minutes before you have to find a vehicle and go. Blue zone speed is reduced in the early and middle phases. So that's to make up for the size being a little bit smaller. Uh, blue zone damage is slightly increased in the later phases though. However, so that's really good. That means that's less camping, late game, less uh, blue edge runner. And then the last thing is blue zone delay is reduced in the last phase so the blue zone is going to actually close faster 
in the later phases of the game all of this for me bodes well uh saying that it's going to be more of an aggressive play style for the beginning and into the game i think that's a really good thing okay guys that's it hope you enjoyed the video uh please make sure to hit a like on the video if you did enjoy it uh dislike if you did not like it and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing more PUBG, xbox pc and ps4 updates if you guys are on twitch feel free to come stop by and let me know what you thought about the patch notes there i'm at twitch.tv c underscore dome and i'm there five days a week tuesday wednesday uh friday saturday and sunday we stream uh, PUBG PC throughout most of the week, except Fridays. That's where we typically do our community night. So feel free to come stop on by. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys there. Hope you guys have a great day. And thank you so much for watching my video. Take care. Peace.